We are, we are going to begin this evening. My name is, uh, good evening everyone. My name is Mike Cummings. I'm the superintendent of schools and we very much appreciate you coming together tonight. Uh, it is, uh, to say the least, just wonderful to see people in the auditorium um, together, masked as you may be, uh, but it is just wonderful to have you here tonight and certainly a sign that um, things are looking up. Uh, and, and to gather together tonight for an opportunity like this to honor um, the best of our community and our student population um, and, and to have that opportunity to do that this year when it was denied to us last year makes it even more special. Um, so again, thank you for, for being here tonight. Thank you for being together tonight. And we're going to uh, do a, a few, several things tonight. We're, we're going to go through the awards. We're going to present the superintendent awards first, followed by the uh, CABE awards, the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education awards after that. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit different um, in that uh, once the principals are going to come up or staff members from each of the school are going to come up and introduce the students. And we'll begin that in one second. Um, but I just want to take an opportunity to, to kind of cover a couple of other housekeeping things while we're at it. Um, I want to, first of all, acknowledge the work of the staff who put forth the names of the students we're going to honor tonight. I want to honor the work of and acknowledge the work of the administrators who put together the write-ups um, that accompany those awards. Um, the dedication to their students, for both students, uh, by, excuse me, by both staff and, and administrators is just another example of the, ad the admiration we should hold for our, our professionals. Um, I want to thank the staff at Fairfield Ward for hosting us. Uh, we were the beneficiaries of following on the ward calendar the book awards. So these lovely floral arrangements <laughs> are not my doing. Um, and I want to thank Mr. Cavana and his staff because they, they really are. We're, we're here every year. Just, just so you know. Uh, uh, and finally, um, none of this is possible, none of this uh, presentation tonight is possible without the hard work and support of uh, two of my staff, Ms. Brown and Ms. De Denise, I've been practicing it all day, Ms. Denisevich um, in our, my office who um, essentially, they're the ones you contacted about attending tonight. They're the ones who put all the awards together. They're the ones who put down together the booklet. So um, all of that, uh, credit for the, the success of the evening falls with them. Um, so before I begin, I would, or we, we begin the awards, I want to uh, introduce Mr. Cavana, the principal of Ward, uh, with a special introduction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. I am so proud to introduce the Ward baseball team who has won the FCAC championship this year. It has been an It has been a true honor to watch these young men compete day in and day out. They truly exemplify the spirit we have at Ward and I couldn't be prouder of the tenacity they bring to the baseball diamond every single day. They're truly examples to all members of our school community, and I'm humbled to introduce their coach, Rhett Connors. <laughs> Brett is not only an outstanding educator with the Fairfield Public Schools, but he's also a wonderful coach and role model to these young men. Gentlemen, congratulations from the bottom of our hearts here at Ward on a wonderful season and a tremendous championship. Go Ward. I'd like to thank Paul, Mr. Cummings, board, thank you for having us. Uh, it's, you know, truly special, uh, special moment for our team. Um, this, this group of uh, guys, you know, a lot of them are missing, but, um, you know, they got after it every single day on the field, but, you know, academics comes first in our program. And uh, I'm proud to say that this team had a GPA of 3.9. Um, <laughs> Major accomplishments on the field, major accomplishments in the classroom, and major accomplishments in the community where they're 
you know, daily down at the fields. If you're driving by the local baseball fields, the parks, you'll see them working with our local um, players that are coming up through the system and hoping one day to fill, you know, their shoes and do great things here at Fairfield Ward High School. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support. It was really a lot of fun during the FSAC championship game. A lot of the schools were watching our games because we were able to play at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I know I teach at Dwight Elementary School, and all the kids were um, tuned in and really excited for, uh, for the game and, and the special moment that these boys created for this town. Um, so thank you for everything. Thank you for all the love and support. And congratulations to all the winners tonight um, with the Superintendent Award. And is Antonia from Dwight here? Antonia, congratulations, sweetheart. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Good job. Oh, all right. Cool. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Why don't you guys say who you are? Go ahead. Mike's yours. Sure. All right. Hi, I'm a junior. My name is John Heisman. There you go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Zach Broderick. I'm a junior. Uh, my name is Pete Crosley. I'm a sophomore. My name is LJ Coleman, and I'm a junior. Uh, I'm Jake Baylog, and I'm a junior. My name is Edmund Hogan. I'm a senior. Uh, Roman DiGiacomo. I'm a junior. I'm Elliot Hyde, and I'm a senior. I'm uh, Jack Fitzpatrick, and I'm a senior. I'm Zach Berry, and I'm a junior. I'm Jack Corkin, and I'm a senior captain. And I'm Jim Canelli, and I'm also a senior. Okay, uh, thank you again, uh, gentlemen, for being here tonight. We're going to begin again with the superintendent's awards. Now, because we were not able to hold the awards last year, uh, we're going to hold both the 2020 and the 2021 awards this year. We'll begin uh, the superintendent awards with the 2020, and as principals are up here, staff members from the schools are up here, they'll, they'll do the 2020 and the 2021 together for the superintendent awards. Um, then we'll move to the CAVE Awards and do the same thing. That's, that will be the 2020 winners and then the 2021 winners as well. So um, we'll get through this. All right. uh, it's slightly more complicated this year, but we're going to get through it. So uh, I want to point out, though, a couple things about the, uh, excuse me, the superintendent awards before we begin. Um, only one student in each school was selected by school staff for outstanding characters, excuse me, characteristics based on their community service, their academic prowess, and leadership in the school community. Students, after you are recognized, uh, please remember to pick up your award at the table, and then what you'll do is we'll go over to the grand piano, and we'll, you have a photo opportunity if you so choose. Um, we're going to begin, though, tonight. We're going to go slightly out of order to begin. We have uh, one student who's being honored tonight. Um, has to be out of here by 7 o'clock to perform at a concert this evening. Um, yes, you thought your evening was hectic. Um, so I would like to introduce um, uh, Ms. Rabin, Rabin, Rabin oh, excuse me, from Fairfield Ludlow High School. Barry?
It is Rabin. You were right the first time. Hi, everyone. When awarding Olivia Beniston with the Quincy Jones Award last month, Mr. Sam Eckert described her as, quote, a truly brilliant musician. A classically trained pianist, she has won international competitions like Crescendo International and performed at Carnegie Hall. She has contributed to all four directors in our ensembles and accompanied soloists and ensembles alike over the years. She is a PTA Reflections Program state winner in music composition, who also is a National Merit Scholar finalist and part of our FLHS student body government, Falcon Council. She is a kind. <laughs> she is a kind and thoughtful young woman who loves taking on and conquering new challenges. As her school counselor, Mr. Matt Sutton, describes, her resiliency and perseverance are unmatched. These skills will serve her well when she arrives at MIT in the fall, where she plans to major in chemical engineering and minor in music. Congratulations again, Olivia, and good luck this evening in your performance. <laughs> if I can have the, um, excuse me, if I can have the schools line up on the side uh, by alphabet in alphabetical order by level, this is a two-step problem. <laughs> You're going to be fine. It worked in rehearsal. Okay. If the, uh, yeah, if. The, yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. If the uh, award recipients could join uh, their principal, the person from their school tonight, you'll come up together. There's, there's actually two. All right, if we're ready to begin, Get ourselves in order. All right, if we, oh, this is the one. If we get, uh, if we get the, the wall organized, there we go. All right. We want to bring everybody forward. We're going to start with uh, Burr Elementary School and introduce the principal, Mr. Jason Bluestein. Mr. Bluestein. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we're going to start with our 2020 uh, Burr uh, Superintendent's Award winner, Annabelle King. Annabelle, if you want to come up, let's give her a big round of applause. 
A natural leader, a strong student, a kind person, a goal setter who always strives to do her best, Annabelle King has it all. She follows in the footsteps of her brother Henry, who is a past Superintendents Award winner. Annabelle has participated in student council, volunteered consistently in our kindergarten classrooms, and has been a member of Safety Patrol. Outside of school, Annabelle has helped foster dogs for local dog rescues, donated her own stuffed animals to students in need, and along with her brother and father, put American flags at the graves of veterans. In Annabelle's own words, I am a proud learner, full of bravery and courage, and I can't wait to make a difference in this world. I will continue on my quest to help others and spread sunshine. Congratulations, Annabelle. BRRRS 2021 uh, Superintendent's Award winner is Rasheen Hartley. Rasheen, if you could come up. Hey, Rasheen has been a positive force and leader at BRRRS since kindergarten when she got a Kindness Award. She has been a member of BRRRS Student Council, a mentor to younger students at BRRRS, and is a terrific student, always giving her best on all assignments. She has also been very active in community-based service projects, including building bikes for children in other communities and visiting Jamaica with her family and supporting students in their schools through artwork projects. Rasheen is respectful, thoughtful, and models leadership by how she carries herself every day. We are so proud to have Rasheen represent Burr for the Superintendent's Award. Congratulations. My apologies, my apologies that Mrs. Maniscalco couldn't be here tonight. Our 2020 award winner is Alex Murphy. Alex, come on up. <laughs> Alex strives to be the best version of himself, student, athlete, and responsible community member. He puts his whole heart and soul into his work. He is ex accepting of feedback, both positive and constructive, and strives to improve his end product. Alex genuinely wants to succeed for his peers. He acknowledges with sincere appreciation a person who has accomplished a task that he has been working toward. If he sees someone who needs help, he will be the first to lend a hand. Alice sets the tone for each day with a positive personality and respectful look you in the eye, good morning greeting. Alex has a bright future ahead of him and I believe he will make a positive and lasting impact on his generation. And Dwight's 2021 award recipient is Antonia Sidleone. Antonia shows genuine kindness to everyone is a self-directed learner and a natural leader. Her overall academic achievement comes from her inquisitive nature, her flexible thinking, and conscious approach to her work. Antonia's empathy and caring for all students is evidence in her willingness to help everyone. In return, she receives the utmost respect from her peers. She embraces her heritage and is proud to share it with others. She's family-oriented and shares stories of special times with her parents and sister. She's an independent learner who works very well with others and thinks outside of the box. Antonia is a role model in our community and with an internal desire to learn. We are very lucky to have Antonia at Dwight. Holland Hill's 2020 winner is Reese Renzulli. Reese brought kindness, respect, and a consistently strong work ethic to everything she did as a Holland Hill fifth grader. She would greet others with her sweet and generous smile, and she was always willing to help anyone in our community. Reese was a valued member of the Safety Patrol, and she could be seen kindly escorting younger students out of their cars every afternoon. She represented Holland Hill at the CAS Leadership Conference at Sacred Heart University and was also a member of the fifth grade Job Corps, giving up free time to complete tasks for staff at school. 
Reese participated in the Townwide Honors Orchestra and was a leader in the fifth grade's 100th day of school food drive. She was also a top contributor in pledges to Holland Hill at our first annual walkathon. She plays soccer and basketball and has held multiple lemonade stands to earn money for the ASPCA, the Jimmy Fund, and for Holland Hill. We are so proud of Reese. The 2021 winner for Holland Hill is Ella Kenzik. <laughs> Ella, is, Ella is an exemplary student who has been a member of the Math Academy for grades four and five. A member of our safety patrol, Ella is diligent and responsible in her efforts to escort our kindergarten students to their buses. Ella's kindness and leadership towards our younger students in her care is truly outstanding. Additionally, Ella has been a consistent participant in all community service and fundraising activities in her six years at Holland Hill. Specifically in grade five, Ella was a contributor to our 100th day of school food drive, and she regularly gave up her recess in order to collect, sort, count, and report out on donations. She is a role model due to her optimistic and caring attitude towards her peers and teachers and her dedication in all academic areas. We are so proud of Ella. Good evening. I am proud to represent Jennings School, and our first award winner for 2020 is Layla Henry. Layla is a gifted student, talented athlete, who's hurt right now, <laughs> and kind friend to all. Layla enjoys spending time with her family, playing travel volleyball, and washing cars to raise money for families who are struggling to pay for college. For her moving up slide, which was last year, Layla chose a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Layla's kind heart, caring nature, and commitment to helping others are the characteristics that make her stand out above the rest. She notices when someone needs a friend, she's always, she always knows just the right thing to say or do and makes everyone feel included. It is my pleasure to congratulate her for this special award. And for 2021, Ali Baylog. It's a good night for them. You saw Jake up here for the, for the uh, baseball team as well, right? Whether writing a story that completely captivates her audience or solving a challenging math problem, Allie is an exceptional, high-achieving student. She plays softball and is a gifted dancer. She loves to express her feelings through her performances on stage. Allie is an active member of the Girl Scouts and served on the Jennings student leadership team Pre-pandemic, Allie could always be counted on to help and support her younger peers in the classroom. During the pandemic, Allie and her family made lunches for the Merton Center and Operation Hope. In addition, she assisted her brothers while volunteering for the SASO organization. Allie always enjoys working with younger kids, even today during field day. She helps her mom set up the classroom and organize activities for preschoolers. To assist students in her aunt's class, she even illustrated a book and made a math video. Allie is always thinking about others and is a true role model and leader. We're very proud of her at Jennings. My name is, my name is, is it this one? <clears throat> My name is Renee Grenier, and I'm here to present awards to the McKinley students. Uh, the 2020 award recipient is Nandi Bhattacharya. <laughs> Nand Nandini is a distinguished member of the McKinley community. She demonstrates to her peers and younger students the importance of the school's core values each day. Academically, Nandini's commitment to her learning is impossible to miss, always working hard to do her best and beyond in all subjects. 
Last year, Nandini's STEAM invention was recognized in the McKinley's fifth grade invention convention, and she was chosen to represent McKinley in the regional competition. Nandini also shines musically and artistically. She was a member of the McKinley Singers and played viola in the, in the orchestra. Outside of school, she is also a competitive swimmer and studies Bengali classical music. Nandini has taught us to see the rainbow after the storm. Her perseverance and positivity last spring during distance learning was amazing. She was so helpful to her teachers and her classmates. McKinley is proud of Nandini's accomplishments. We know she will continue to make McKinley proud. Our 2020 re reward, award recipient is Kieran Rajan. <laughs> Kieran is another distinguished member of the McKinley, McKinley community, exemplifying our school's core values every day. Her commitment to her learning shines bright in everything she does, and she always goes above and beyond. Kieran is a natural born leader. She has been an integral part of the student council this year, participating in virtual presentations, Operation Hope, Toys for Tots collections, and planning school spirit events. Kieran is musically talented both in and out of school. In addition to taking piano lessons, she is a member of the McKinley Singer and Honors Orchestra. Kieran is also a competitive swimmer on the YMCA swim team. This year has been like no other, and Kieran handled it beautifully. Her perseverance, positivity, and kindness has been amazing and inspiring. McKinley is honored to have taken part in helping Kieran become the outstanding lady she is today. We know she will continue to make McKinley proud. from the back. Don't move that. You got it. Uh, I'm Kevin Chase, principal at Mill Hill Elementary, and I'm honored to be here tonight to introduce our superintendent award winners for the past two years. Sydney Gray. Sydney has participated in Brownies and Girl Scouts as well as our Safety Patrol. Our Safety Patrol works to assist all students in the building and make sure that it's safe and they feel safe and welcomed. Sydney's natural leadership qualities add to the community daily outside of organized activities as she has an innate ability to notice when others need a helping hand or a cheerful smile. Sydney has organized fundraising events for a school in Cape Verde. She was able to raise funds to purchase and send 32 whiteboards to this school. To relax, Sydney enjoys arts and crafts. She even taught herself how to use a sewing machine and made pillows for her teachers and classmates. Congratulations, Sydney. <laughs> Brady Riccobono. Brady had quite the entrance into Mill Hill. Uh, I was known to frequent recess and still am, and Brady challenged me to a race in his kindergarten year. And as history tells the story, the principal won <laughs> by an astounding amount, <laughs> I think. Brady's natural leadership qualities add to the community. He is, Brady has an innate ability to notice when others as well, and, and help with a helping hand or cheerful smile. He's quick to support everyone in the school. Brady and his family regularly organize food drives for Operation Hope. He's an excellent student who is naturally curious and loves learning. Not only does he excel in academics, Brady plays soccer and tennis. His soccer team recently won the Hershey Cup. Brady is a polite, charismatic young man who finds good in all people and situations. When reflecting for a writing assignment on how COVID-19 impacted his life, Brady said, the COVID pandemic gave my family more time together. Every night we watched movies, shows, played games, and had dinner together. 
He is a glass half full guy and will be missed, but he is destined for great things. Congratulations, David. Always difficult to follow Mr. Chase, but we will try very hard. So I'm Debbie Jackson from North Stratfield. I'm joined by Mr. Gillen, our fifth grade teacher, and we're very proud of both of our, support, uh, our superintendent award recipients, starting with Eliza Choi for 2020. Eliza was chosen to receive this award due to her leadership skills and strong values towards her community and those closest to her. She values empathy, compassion, and hard work, and she is constantly exploring new inter interests and always challenges herself to improve. Eliza dedicates her time to include playing the cello for the Greater Connecticut Youth Orchestra, she also attends the Two Coyotes Wilderness School, where she learns to care for the environment through outdoor activities. Eliza also raises and donates money to many charitable organizations, such as setting up a local lemonade stand in her neighborhood. Eliza is aware of important social causes. These impact communities well beyond North Stratfield and Fairfield. Eliza loves to learn her curiosity and motivation to understand how and why things work has been the foundation for her to achieve excellence in all her academics. Eliza leads by example, and she works hard not only to be an intelligent, well-rounded student, but also to display all the qualities of an exceptional person in her community. And now for 2021, Martina Kazaraki. In the classroom, Martina is a great role model. She's always willing to help anyone in need. She is dedicated and she is a hardworking athlete who cares about her teammates. Martina is a first degree black belt and loves soccer basketball, and softball. Martina's interest in the arts include both dance and music. Martina plays the saxophone through the school program, and she is a self-taught guitarist. Martina is also involved in community service, from making cards for seniors, participating in working at food drives, to participating in Girl Scout donations that benefit Brady Smiles, Martina is always here to help. She also actively does her part in taking care of the environment. She makes a conscious, conscious decision to switch from wasteful plastic products like straws and toothbrushes. She now only uses bamboo toothbrushes. Wow, Martina, I didn't thought I knew everything about you. And metal straws. Martina hopes to become either an architect, an engineer, or perhaps an FBI agent. Come on, Mr. Gillen. Good evening. I'm David Hudspeth, principal from Osborne Hill School, and I'm joined by Miss Edwards, fifth grade teacher. We're proud to present our, our, nom, our uh, superintendent award winners. We're going to start with uh, 2020, Campbell Hemphill. <laughs> Campbell Hemphill is a student who exemplifies Osborne Hill's CARES program. She's goal-oriented and cooperative, while also demonstrating kindness toward all. Her enthusiasm is contagious, and both students and staff recognize Campbell as a student on whom they can depend. Campbell recommended the idea of bringing a student council back to Osborne Hill, and her encouragement, as well as the promise of her involvement, helped form the CARES Council. In the 2019-20 school year, a group of fifth graders on the CARES Council guided and consulted on our school-wide CARES programs. She motivated her fellow council members to be inclusive and productive. 
We congratulate Campbell on receiving the award. It is well deserved. Thank you, The Osborne Hill 2021 reward, uh, award recipient is uh, Corinne Hammond. <laughs> Corinne is a well-rounded fifth grader who generously shares her talents with peers and has a wide variety of interests and strengths. She's a strong math student, appreciates art because it can be, quote, something that I share or something that I keep to myself and has a love of reading and writing, of which she reflects, quote, reading inspires me to write, and writing is a form of art. Corinne uses her academic abilities to help others with study tips and tricky math concepts. Though finding leadership opportunities has been tougher during the pandemic, Corinne has found leading by example at school and in the greater community to be powerful. In school, she demonstrates self-control in class and encourages the same from classmates. She has found ways for outreach by donating Thanksgiving meals with her family and participating in clothing drives and service projects with Girl Scouts. The Osborne Hill staff is very proud of Corinne and her accomplishments. We know she will continue to make our world a better place. Congratulations, Corinne. Good evening, I'm Brenda Anziano, the principal of Riverfield Elementary School. And the entire staff at Riverfield um, nominates and then um, selects our superintendent award winners. And our award winner for the year 2020 is Jack Hall. It was very heartbreaking for all of us to not be able to um, celebrate these students. So thank you, Mr. Cummings, for, and the board for us doing this this year. Jack is a kind, considerate classmate and a friend who is always willing to help others. He was a responsible and hardworking student while at Riverfield. He always gave 100% to any challenge and took great pride in his work. One of Jack's noteworthy traits is his character. He is the type of student that would always do the right thing, even when no one was watching. He is also empathetic and was often observed in his classroom offering assistance to a peer who needed support with a task. He utilized those opportunities to set an example for others. He always demonstrated a diligent work ethic as well as a positive attitude. He is also very humble. When we informed him and his family about winning this award, he was in shock as it came as such a surprise to him. While there were many worthy students nominated to receive this award, Jack Crawl rose to the top because of his well-roundedness and his appreciation of all people. Congratulations, Jack. Our award winner for the year 2020 is Sydney Patton. I knew her parents would be in the front row, I knew it. And I wrote this before she did a couple of other things at Riverfield, so I'm gonna share two things that she did that are not printed in the program. Um, Sydney is a very, very serious student, and one day this year, when I was in kind of a fun mood, we decided to prank a teacher, and I told the students while I was doing an observation to get up and like sharpen their pencils, ask to go to the bathroom and things like that, and Sydney jumped right on it. And she's very diligent, and she was like, can we really do it? And she did, she got up and she said, can I sharpen, she didn't ask, she just went to sharpen her pencil. One of her highlights of her fifth grade career, right, Sydney? Pranking the teacher. <laughs> She also participated with the Girl Scouts in creating the most beautiful garden in front of Riverfield. Uh, in our renovation, they, we took a lot of trees out in order to have a reno, our, do our renovation, and the Girl Scouts this year stepped up to the plate and put, planted a beautiful garden that will be um, there for years to come, and they painted rocks of compassion, and people can pick them up and take them, so Sydney was very active in that Girl Scout troop this year. She is receiving this award because she is the epitome of a well-rounded student. She always has a smile on her face and is supportive of her friends. She excels academically, participates in Girl Scouts, and attends the Black Rock Community Congregational Church. Recently, Cindy, Sydney and her troop, they had just put a proposal together for me to give approval for them to create the garden to provide emotional and social support for the Riverfield community. She is resilient. 
She lost her biological mother before arriving in kindergarten, yet she maintained a sense of purpose and a positive outlook on life. Her resiliency has also supported her throughout the pandemic. She has worked diligently to make her father and her new mother proud. When asked, she stated, my mother Molly would have been proud of me too. Sydney is also a wonderful sister to her younger brother Henry who says, Sydney always helps me and I just love having her as a big sister. Sydney Patton is a wonderful young lady and is very deserving of this award. Congratulations, Sydney. Good evening, my name is Ian Bannerman. I'm the Sherman Principal and I'm joined by Mrs. Kathy Garasimowitz and Mrs. Aristi Torres. It's my pleasure, my privilege to uh, honor two wonderful people from Sherman. And the first being Maria Masso, uh, Superintendent Award winner from last year. <laughs> Maria is truly a model student. Teachers and students alike would all agree that she gives 100% all day, every day. The student consistently displays genuine qualities of kindness, respect, and determination. Additionally, this award, sorry, this award recognizes students who display strong leadership skills, consistent academic achievement, compassion, and perseverance. Maria demonstrates these qualities daily and always does it with a smile regardless of how difficult something may be for her. Each fifth grade teacher at Sherman School agreed unanimously that Maria Masso is the perfect fit for this award. As Maria moves on from Sherman School, already did, she will continue to make Sherman proud. Her success and commitment at Roger Sherman will undoubtedly follow her in all her future endeavors. Congratulations, Maria. <laughs> This year's recipient, and we're so proud of Rachel Howie. <laughs> Sherman's nominee for the Superintendent Award is one who continuously shows compassion towards others, grit in the face of challenges, and is relentless in seeking excellence. Rachel Howie is also very involved in the community service, sports, and music, as well as being a dedicated student. She supports food drives for Operation Hope, donates clothes and toys to various organizations. Rachel helps foster dogs and helps the homeless, especially through the Howie House, an organization founded by her family. Rachel is active with soccer, acting, and horseback riding from a very young age and is currently entrusted with problem horses. She also enjoys architecture, design, and has been an artist for the Florence Griswold Museum's Wee Fairy Village, creating art displayed at the museum. She also likes to hang with friends and watch movies. Rachel has ambitions to become an engineer and work in robotics. Congratulations, Rachel. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. My name is. Do I speak into this one or that one? I moved to the wrong one, I think. Do I speak into this one? Good evening. My name is Liz Magoe. I'm principal of Stratfield School, and I'm so honored to present two recipients of our superintendent's awards. Um, we'll start with this year's recipient, Quinn Hers. <laughs> I am also joined by. Amanda Schmidt, a fifth grade teacher, as well as Jen Restrepo, a fifth grade teacher as well. Thank you for joining us. First off, Quinn Hers. As you can see, Quinn is the type of child that puts a smile on everyone's face the minute she walks through the door. And if just looking at her, you can smile right now. She shares her enthusiasm for life and learning with everyone she meets. In addition to her cheerful personality, she's a polite, respectful, and kind student. Quinn is always willing to lend a helping hand to a peer or teacher. 
Her internal motivation shows in all academic areas on a daily basis. Not only does Quinn shine in the halls of Stratfield School, she is a role model within the community as well. She is an active Girl Scout who has been involved in many service projects to benefit the community. In addition, Quinn is very involved in Irish dance. Perhaps you can give me a lesson. Everything that Quinn does is genuine and from the heart. She is kind, highly motivated, and a well-liked student by her peers and teachers. She is very deserving of this year's Superintendent Award. Our next recipient is William Gant from 2020. So the first thing I said to William as he came back, I couldn't find him anywhere. And then he was right in front of me and they said, he's here. And I'm like, where? He's already grown up into a young man after leaving us only one year. So we were asking for him to come back to Stratfield School after the award tonight. Are you willing to come back to fifth grade? <laughs> He's very happy in middle school, so he told me he's staying there. So William Gant is a conscientious and dedicated student with a natural cheerfulness. He's always willing to assist others, whether helping a peer, a younger student, or anyone else in need at that moment. He goes out of the way to make sure he is at his fifth grade safety patrol job every morning on time and make sure he does not miss a beat in the classroom. His pursuit of knowledge and motivation shows in all academic areas every day. William not only shines in the hallways of Stratfield School, he is a role model in the community. He is a responsible member of the band and is always ready to give a helping hand to someone. Being part of a team and creating strong bonds is important to William. Outside of the classroom, William enjoys playing basketball. He was a participant in last year's St. Baldrick's event. Everything that William does is from his heart. He is a compassionate, compassionate and highly motivated student and is very deserving of this year's, or last year's, Superintendent Award. Congratulations, Bill. Good evening. Uh, I am Gary Rosado. I'm the previous principal at Fairfield Woods Middle School. And it's my pleasure and honor to present the 2020 Superintendent's Award to Ananya Garg. <laughs> Ananya is an outstanding student consistently earning high academic honors at Fairfield Woods. She has many interests at the school, but particularly enjoys science and history. Ananya was very active in our student council. She attended the CAS Student Leadership Conference and helped plan many fundraisers at the school for many local organization, organizations. Ananya contributes to our local community by tutoring a sixth grader on the violin and cooking meals for the temple she and her family attend. When her family travels back to India, Ananya visits the local orphanage to play her violin for the children there. Ananya's teachers describe her as mature, hardworking, and very involved in the school community. She's a role model for her peers, and I know she is a wonderful addition to the student body here at Fairfield Ward High School. Congratulations, Ananya, on this well-deserved award. Good evening. I'm Colleen Bannock. I'm the current much shorter principal at Fairfield Woods Middle School. I am so proud tonight to introduce you to Victoria Beniston, our current Superintendent's Award from Fairfield Woods Award winner. Victoria is a natural choice for this year's Superintendent's Award for FWMS. Victoria is a dynamic and passionate student with a high level of maturity, resulting in her emergence as a leader within our school community. Her leadership is evident in her role as a Woods Buddy, where she coaches younger Fairfield Woods students through the pitfalls of middle school with grace and patience. 
Victoria possesses a high level of musical talent, which is on display in her participation in both the Woods Chamber Choir and Orchestra, as well as the Fairfield County Children's Choir outside of school. Bravery is another attribute that Victoria possesses in spades, as evidenced by her recent rendition of the national anthem at the, a Boston Red Sox game attended by over 4,000 people. Victoria is an exceptional student, performer, and person who is more than deserving of this unique honor, and we are proud to call her a member of the Woods community. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Meg Tiley. I'm the principal at Roger Ludlow Middle School, and I just want to say um, two things before I, I introduce our 2020 Superintendent Award winner. First is, I didn't realize how overwhelming it would be for me on how much I missed our class of 2020 until I got here tonight and saw some of those recipients. And the second thing is, I'm super proud of everyone in this room, but even more proud of those feeder kids that are now sixth graders at Roger Lello Middle School, so congratulations to all of you. Our I'd like to introduce Elise Kwan, our 2020 Superintendent Award winner. While at Roger Ludlow Middle School, Elise actively participated in the newspaper club, student assistance team, and served as a backstage crew member for the drama club. Outside of school, Elise was dedicated to her Taekwondo, which she has actively practiced since she was five years old. During Elise's middle school years, she has developed a love of writing. She has entertained the idea of becoming a writer or at very least continuing writing in some capacity in her future. And I must say, when I called on Elise yes, uh, last year to do our end of year video for graduation, she absolutely crushed it. So congratulations, Elise. Our 2021 Superintendent Award winner for Roger Ludlow Middle School is Mason Frey. I'm going to embarrass him and his dad for a second. Just a side note, um, I grew up with Mason's father and it's fun to have, I knew his father when he was Mason's age, so it's just been really fun to have a Frey and I have another one coming, uh, two more coming to my school. So congratulations to Mason Frey as our Superintendent Award recipient. His positive influence over his peers, his upbeat attitude is commendable. Mason's humor and empathy for others make him so well respected by his peers, teachers, and our school community. Mason exhibits leadership qualities on a daily basis. Mason has the ability to strike a positive balance between his academic successes and his dedication to service in our community. He's maintained high honors during his time at Roger Ludlow Middle School, and Mason defines himself as a team player through his involvement in sports and was the captain of his national championship winning football team. Mason is selected for many leadership opportunities at Roger Ludlow Middle School and has received our citizenship award. He is self-aware, confident, and will always give his best even when no one is looking. It is with great enthusiasm that we selected Mason Frey as our superintendent award winner. Congratulations, Mason. Hello, I'm Anthony Fermato, principal at Tomlinson Middle School, and I'm joined by Jennifer McBay, one of our school counselors. And we are here to award Theo Pollux for the 2020 Superintendent's Award. Theo is a bright young man and a role model, model for his classmates. He has a strong work ethic and has an approach of discovery when it comes to learning new things. Once an interest strikes Theo, Theo is committed to learning everything he can about this topic. Some topics he has explored deeply include geography and climate change. Theo was selected by his band teacher to play taps at our TMS Veterans Day Assembly. He studied the professional Arlington Cemetery buglers to be sure he got it right. Theo is part of a soccer team that raises money each year for the breast cancer awareness. He also volunteers at a homeless shelter in Stanford. A quote from Theo's writing exemplifies Theo very well. Amidst the hype, and distraction of our world, I bring calm and order. Congratulations, Theo.
Madeline McCusker is our 2021 Superintendent Award winner. <laughs> Madeline is very passionate about community service. She started with the Girl Scouts, where she volunteered in many ways, packaging meals for needy children, organizing cleanups of neighborhood parks, and working to earn her silver award. This award requires a community improvement initiative and a 50-hour commitment. She also volunteers at the Waveney Care Center, a senior facility where her grandfather lived while ba battling Alzheimer's. Although her favorite volunteering has been the National Charity, uh, Charity League, Madeline works in soup kitchens, makes care packages, and organized a Halloween party for children living in shelters. Currently, she is serving on the Fairfield Chapter Board of Parliamentary as as a board par parliamentarian, and this I love. She's the assistant to the president who keeps everybody organized and on task. I think we all need a parliamentarian in our lives. Her friends, classmates, and family teach her to inspire her to do her best. In community service and in school, she maintains a high work ethic, strives to achieve success, and always leads by example. Congratulations, Madeline. Good evening. My name is Steve D'Angelo. I've been serving as the principal of the Remote Learning Academy. It is my honor and privilege to present the first ever uh, Superintendent Award winner from the RLA, Ms. Helen Hen. I apologize for the light. I'm not taping this. I've, I broke my glasses on the way in, so I'm, I'm, I'm lighting this up so I can read it. In a challenging year, under less than ideal circumstances, Helen Hen has been a bright ray of sunlight. She worked tire tirelessly to put her very best effort forward each and every day in our remote learning world and shined academically. This effort and her refined intellectual curiosity has earned her top marks in all subjects. Her classroom teachers say that she a, has a fantastic sense of humor, is extremely helpful with her classmates, and takes a leadership role whenever working collaboratively. Beyond the classroom, Helen shines as well in her interests in bettering the community. She is deeply involved in the Girl Scouts and serves as a youth board of directors in her theater group. A master of time management, Helen gracefully balances her academics and community involvement while also being a competitive figure skater who rises at 5 a.m. to practice. It is clear that Helen is a driven young lady who continually goes above and beyond in all that she does. Thank you so much, Helen, for being a very valuable part of the RLA community, and congratulations. Okay, good evening. My name is Amanda Keurig. I am the principal at the Walter Fitzgerald Academy, and um, Academy Campus, sorry, and I am privileged and honored to give our superintendent's award to Aiden Casey for the 2021 school year. <laughs> Aiden is a kind and thoughtful, exciting young man who is so very deserving of this award. Throughout his time at both Fairfield Ludlow High School and Walter Fitzgerald, Aiden has worked diligently to be a dedicated student as well as a positive community member. Aiden was a member of both the football and volleyball teams. He was a member of the chess club as well as circle of friends. When Aiden is not playing in charity softball tournaments, you can find him playing the guitar or writing songs at the School of Rock. Authentic projects at Walter Fitzgerald allowed for Aiden to channel his creative side. Aiden's music is part of a documentary his English class created as a project on public diplomacy with an orphanage in Cameroon, Africa. Aiden has participated in Appalachia service projects. Um, you may recognize Aiden if you ever happen to order pizza from the Naughty Dolphin because he has been a valuable employee there for many years. And Aiden has been accepted into his first choice college. So we are so excited to present this word to Aiden. Proud of him and can't wait to see where he goes.
Good evening, my name is Sean Golly. I'm the Warner House principal at Fairfield Little High School, and I'm honored to present um, this award to Abigail Chaco. <laughs> Abigail's unwavering commitment to academic su success has earned her membership into the National Math and Science Honor Societies. She has a contagious sense of curiosity and genuine delight for learning. Behind everything Abigail does is her passion for giving. She has frequently been found baking hummingbird cakes for her mom's colleagues at the hospital, babysitting for free, volunteering at her church and local hospitals, mentoring, mentoring students, and sending letters to her pen pal in Togo, Africa. As a first-generation Indian American, Abigail cherishes diversity and values all different worldviews and perspectives. Abigail intends to pursue a post-secondary education and career in STEM slash medical field, a field that will surely allow her to capitalize on her many assets. Don't let her quiet and gentle nature fool you. Abigail has a loud and remarkable soul. Her compassion and relentless determination will carry her far in all of her future endeavors. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm Greg Puglis. I'm the Webster House principal at Fairfield Ludlow. And the 2021 award winner for Webster House is Miranda Lian. So uh, I may be new to Fairfield Ludlow High, um, but the short time that I've been there, I've certainly been able to notice and be made aware of Miranda's many accomplishments. Her accompl accompl accomplishments over the past four years are absolutely incredible. Miranda has a real passion for learning and is always looking for ways to incorporate what she learns into real world situations and into her everyday life. She has truly made the most of her years at Ludlow. Miranda has a strong sense of identity and is confident in her pursuit of her own aspirations. She plans to major in film at NYU starting this fall. She is incredibly creative and has a great eye for design. She has continuously demonstrated her creative skills by designing a logo for a local business. She is an accomplished musician and songwriter. And she has created numerous short films clearly a passion of hers. Today I got to see the film she made called Revival for her, ind her independent study, and it was really fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. There's more. Miranda has also been an, ad an advocate for the Fairfield Equity Coalition, where she's found a passion for social justice and a newfound strength in her own voice. She has Develop, she has developed that passion by speaking and presenting at the Equity Coalition's meetings. I know Miranda will do great things at NYU and beyond. She is incredible, and it is my honor to present the Superintendent Award from Webster House to Miranda Leanne. Good evening again. Fairfield Ward High School has three recipients for the Superintendent Award. The first one is Lena. Lena, I'm also joined by the fifth house principal, Kurt Simonson. Lena has thrived in most, the most rigorous program of study at Fairfield Ward High School, illustrated by her numerous AP courses and her 4.59 GPA. She has a genuine passion for learning and is known for her insightful questions and reflections. Lena pursues extracurricular activities as well as her academics. As a talented viola player, she's involved in the Ward Music Program in the Greater Connecticut Youth Orchestra, where she was a finalist for the 2021 competition. Lena also shares her love by music by instructing elementary students through a local outreach program. As the president of the Environmental Club and group leader of Sustainable Youth Connecticut, Lena inspires her peers in advocating for environmentalism. Lena is also a co-captain of the debate team and competes um, in, 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 in completed, excuse me, an internship with Congressman Hines and is studying human behavior at Yale University. Oh, she's actually going to Dartmouth. So she'll be attending Dartmouth University. From the first time that I had the opportunity to meet Lena, I'm a new principal at Fairfield Ward High School last year, 
And I was just so impressed by her intellect, her passion for the environment, and the way that she carried herself as a young woman. I'm so proud to recognize her today as the Fitz House Superintendent Award winner who will be attending Dartmouth in the fall. Congratulations. Our next student is Claire, and she's going to be joined with Mr. Keating, who is our house principal from Pequot. Claire, please come on up. Claire, above all things, is one of the kindest, compassionate, and authentic young women here at Fairfield Ward High School. Claire is a standout academically and possesses a true love of learning, especially in the field of science and math. Her love of learning has no limits, and she has taken it upon herself to create unique learning opportunities outside of the classroom. The world is Claire's classroom, and she undoubtedly will be a lifelong learner. Claire is passionate about protecting the environment and helping others. As a volunteer through the SWIM Angel Fish program, Claire helped run aquatic therapy sessions. Claire learned what tremendous strength children have when facing challenging disabilities. These tr children truly inspire with the great courage, positive attitude, and determination. Claire truly exemplifies our award acronym and is certainly worthwhile of our superintendent award winner from Pequot House. Congratulations, Claire. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, is our superintendent winner from Townsend House, and we're here with Townsend House Principal Steve Feckety, Jack Davis. <laughs> Jack is a student who is enthusiastically, articulate, and animately and portrays the ward mission of being welcoming, academic, respectful, dynamic, and ethical. He has earned a GPA of 4.72 and has participated in several challenging classes. And he is also our valedictorian. In addition, that deserves a round of applause. In addition to all his academics, he, during his free time, he's an active member of the Ward Varsity Tennis Team, as well as a member of an outside tennis program. As a varsity member of the Ward Tennis Team since grade nine, Jack has demonstrated many leadership qualities. Jack has not only actively helped organize team practices, including formal and informal practices over the summer, but he has helped develop the skills of younger players on the team. In addition, Jack is seen as a captain of his outside tennis team because of his dedication, skill level, and his willingness to help others. And I must note that Jack has the best Hawaiian shirts at Fairfield Ward High School. Please join me in congratulating our Townsend Superintendent winner, Jack Davis. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And I, uh, I just want to call out uh, Dr. Rosado. I really appreciate the fact that he came out of his well-deserved retirement to be here this evening to present, uh, and happily agreed right away. Thank you. All right, so we're going we're gonna to line up again. This time we have the CAVE Awards. I'll talk about the CAVE Awards in a second, but while I'm talking about that, if the, we could start with the secondary schools with Fairfield Woods. I'll give you a cheat on this one. Fairfield Woods starts. All right, so Fairfield Woods is alf alphabetically first. So the CAVE Student Awards, um, recognize two students from each middle and high school who exhibit exemplary leadership skills, including willingness to take on challenges, the capability to make difficult decisions, concern for others, willingness to commit to a project, diplomacy, the ability to understand issues clearly, and the ability to honor a commitment. And if Dr. Rosado is ready, we'll begin with Fairfield Ward Class of 2020, thank you. Good evening again. It's my pleasure to uh, introduce Michaela Day, the 2020 CABE Award winner for Fairfield Woods. Michaela. <laughs> M 
Michaela is an exemplary student at Fairfield Woods, earning academic honors throughout her time at middle school. She is a friend to all and was a regular member of our Best Buddies program, mentoring sixth grade students as they transition to middle school. Michaela also likes to help her mom as she plans her lessons at Osborne Hill. Michaela loves to dance and is a member of the Devalda and Sirocco uh, dance companies in Fairfield. Her teachers describe Michaela as academically motivated, helpful to her peers, very polite and respectful with a very strong work ethic. She enjoys all of her subjects in school, but especially math and science. She hopes one day to put that passion to good use as an aerospace engineer. I'm not sure if that still is the case, but it'd be awesome. We need good engineers out there. We miss Michaela at Woods, but she is a great addition to the freshman class at Laurelton High School. Congratulations, Michaela. Our second award winner for 2020 was Aiden, is Aiden Guernsey. Aiden excelled while at Fairfield Woods, earning academic honors throughout his middle school years. He is humble and inquisitive, attributes that make him a good student and a great member of the student body. Aiden has been a member of the Fairfield County Children's Choir for five years and is a founding member of the Sustainable Youth Connecticut, an, adv an advocacy group of teens focused on creating a more sustainable future locally and beyond. Aiden is a talented singer, dancer, and actor, studying at the Fairfield Trumbull School of Music and the Broadway Method Academy. He loves the outdoors and spends summers at the Connecticut Audubon Society, where he planned to be a counselor in training last summer. He is kind, and personable, and all of us at Fairfield Woods congratulate Aiden for his achievements and for receiving this award. We wish him well as he joins the student body at Fairfield Ludlow High School. Congratulations, Aiden. We're just going to do that. I'd like to introduce uh, Samantha Portney, but I can't help but call her Sammy. Is that okay? Okay. So this is Sammy Portney, our current uh, Cave Awards winner from Fairfield Woods, one of them. As a Karen, yes. As a caring old soul who can read a room and lead by quiet example, Sammy Portney is a natural choice for the Cave Award. She shows a genuine compassion for her own growth and is an excellent and encouraging role model for those around her. Sammy is a conscientious student who is supportive of all of her peers and is a joy to have as a student. As a Woods buddy, she draws upon her own experience as a sixth grader to guide our newest students to success. Sammy exemplifies heart and diligence in her academic pursuits with an exceptional work ethic that is demonstrated in her tackling of challenges and honoring of commitments. We are so proud to have Sammy as part of the Fairfield Woods community. Congratulations. I'd like to introduce Luke McIntosh. Luke is a wonderful choice for the CABE Award, not only because he is kind, inclusive, hardworking, and conscientious, but because he is a leader among his peers, setting an example for others to follow. Luke thrives on thoughtful decision-making, and he takes pride in his work, his conduct, and his character. Luke is the student that always has a smile on his face, a willingness to help, a positive outlook, a strong work ethic, and a concern for others. He follows through on his work, will ask probing questions, and stands ready to help any classmate understand new material. 
Luke's willingness to take on challenges and help his peers is admirable. He eagerly embraces these challenges and will be the first one to volunteer to help others understand. We are so proud to have Luke at Fairfield Woods. Congratulations. I am thrilled and pleased to introduce Arushi Mal Malarapu, who's our 2020 CABE winner for Roger Ludlow Middle School. Not that everyone doesn't make my heart lit, light up, but when I ran into Arushi tonight, it was just, oh, love it. Uh, while at Roger Ludlow Middle School, Arushi was the editor of the newspaper club and actively participated in the student assistance team and drama club. In our community, she participated in the Fairfield World Champion Taekwondo and the Enrichment Club for Math and Science. Arushi plans to, and we'll have to talk about this, Arushi plans to pursue a career where she can help others in any way she can. Congratulations, Arushi. Well done. Our second 2020 CABE recipient is Zachary Rua. While Zachary was at Roger Ludlow Middle School, he ran cross country and actively participated in our circle of friends and homework clubs. He was also a valued member of the backstage crew for the drama club. All three years of middle school, Zach was recognized as a citizenship award winner. Zachary has many interests, but his top three, and I'm wondering if these are still your top three, his top three are coding, working with computers, and playing the guitar. He aspires to be a mechanical engineer. Congratulations, Zachary. Well done, kiddo. Our recipient, one of our two recipients for the 2021 CABE Award for Roger Ludlow Middle School is Alexa Mills. We are pleased to have selected Alexa Mills for the CABE Leadership Award. She is a compassionate and determined young lady. Alexa's consistent ability to achieve academically and continually stand out as a leader in our school community is something to admire. She is goal-oriented and her kindness to other, others is one of her most endearing qualities. Alexa has a wide variety of interests and commitments that make her a well-rounded student leader in our school community. She has been a Girl Scout for many years, is part of our drama club stage crew, participated in several community service activities, and is an outstanding softball player. Alexa has been selected by our teachers to receive our citizenship award multiple times. Alexa is creative, persistent, and quietly, a quietly confident young lady who will excel at anything she seeks to accomplish. It is with great pleasure that we recommend Alexa to you with our full endorsement for the CABE Award 2021. Congratulations, Kira. Our final CABE Award winner for 2021 for Roger Ludlow Middle School is Owen Trotzer. We are delighted to have chosen Owen for the CABE Leadership Award. He sets the bar high and represents the definition of a leader in our school community. Owen has defined himself as a student willing to take on challenges, find success in the goals he sets, and grow as a person. During his time at RLMS, Owen has been a member of our school climate committee, uh, and students are selected based on their exceptional contributions to our school. He is also a talented multi-instrument musician that has participated in all honors band, jazz band, and is a member of the School of Rock. All of RLMS will especially miss him when he does his uplifting morning announcements as he heads into high school next year. Owen will continue to challenge himself academically and will flourish. I also want to make note off the script that Owen owns my unofficial Best Hair at Ludlow Award. <laughs> we have no doubt that he will excel at anything he seeks to accomplish. It is with tremendous honor to have selected Owen as our CABE recipient. Congratulations, Owen. <laughs> Thank you.
The Tomlinson 2020 Cave Award winner uh, is not able, to, one of them is not able to attend tonight, but I will read uh, her description anyway. Uh, Alex is, Alex, Alexandra Petro is diligent and focused student who brings a steady, strong work ethic to each of her classes every day. In group, Alex, uh, Alexandra helps others stay on task and appreciates the viewpoints of others. Outside of school, Alex is committed to staying active and healthy. She's passionate about horseback riding and frequently assists younger riders with their basic skills. Alex also enjoys lending a hand to maintain the facility at Selco Farm where she rides. Congratulations, Alexandra Petro. And Michael Vangeli is here, so let's welcome him and congratulate him. Michael Vangeli is an outstanding young man. He contributes to the school community by way of his excellent character and grades. Michael brings enthusiasm, spirit, and conscientiousness and an out, outstanding pos, positive outlook every day in every class. Michael is always ready for a good discussion and debate, which I saw several times, and he's willing to participate. He's the go-to person for his peers and his teachers alike. Michael has shown that he goes above and beyond in all of his classes, even during remote learning. Outside of school, Michael enjoys skiing and baseball, and we are proud to present him with the Cable Award. Congratulations, Michael. Our first award winner for 2020 Cable Award from Tomlinson is Michaela Padilla. Our school was very lucky to welcome Michaela Padilla to the eighth grade this past fall. Michaela is very excited to work hard and she has set a goal of becoming an engineer. Michaela is mature beyond her years. Through her words, actions, and choices, she shows how much she values the strength that comes from family and how much she believes in the importance of community and education. In addition to her hard work and effort to maintain her grades, all while making new friends and adjusting to a new school, Michaela provides emotional support for her grandmother, who recently received a kidney transplant. Michaela goes to her appointments and helps with her medications. She also actively helps to homeschool her younger sister. Michaela meets challenges head on and is a wonderful person that any school would be lucky to have as a student. Congratulations, Michaela. Noah Gutierrez. Tomlinson has been fortunate to have a student like Noah for the past three years. A straight A student, Noah has shown a willingness to regularly take on academic challenges while maintaining a strong work ethic. He has been a national finalist for the Invention Convention and even has his own channel dedicated to building, drawing, and gardening. With quiet confidence, he works well with others and has the ability to honor a commitment. A combination of warmth and discipline, Noah has been a positive role mo model throughout this unconventional hybrid year. He is always the first to join a Google Meet and greets both teachers and peers with a good morning and a smile. Congratulations, Noah. Good evening. My name is Greg Hatzis, and I'm the head principal of Fairfield Ludlow High School. First, I want to congratulate the 2020 winners earlier tonight who are current Falcons. Congratulations. And all those 2021 members who are future Falcons. Looking forward to having you. I'm so pleased tonight to recognize two incredible students as our CABE Leadership Award winners. The first is Emma Torello. Emma was a natural choice for this leadership recognition. Everything that Emma does has a purpose to it. She has a strong work ethic and a deep passion to help others. Emma makes everyone feel welcomed and included by getting to know people and making connections with them. She has always had an upbeat attitude and finds joy in the little things. She is that rare combination of strength and kindness. Despite facing adversity in the form of some injuries, Emma always stayed optimistic and played through those injuries in all aspects of her life. 
All her teachers say that they will gladly take a class full of Emmas and we would take a school full of them at FLHS. Not many 5'4 freshmen make the varsity basketball team, but she distinguished herself for her tenacity and her heart. Anyone who watched the Falcons play would see her stand out, and this was evidenced by the fact that she was named captain for both junior and senior year. As a sophomore, Emma was one of the only four Ludlow students to be chosen to attend the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Council. Emma's gregarious personality and her exceptional natural abilities as a leader separated her from her competitors. Emma also served as co-president of the Full Court Peace Club and has participated in multiple events to help underclassmen find their way at Ludlow as a Ludlow leader. If anyone from Providence College is listening, be ready to embrace the positive force that is Emma Torello. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce Allison Schwartz. Allie is an ambitious young woman who has dedicated a great amount of her time and effort to her education, her post-secondary goals, and her extracurricular activities. She's extremely passionate about the world around her and never backs down from a challenge. Allie involves herself in many activities in and out of school, and she dedicates herself fully to the involvement of each. She played varsity field hockey for all four years at Fairfield Ludlow, earned the Conference Scholar Athlete Award a few years back. And within the Ludlow community, Ali has served as class president for three years, is a member of four honor societies, and is a Ludlow leader helping to mentor underclassmen. She has been captain of a St. Baldrick's Power for Peace team throughout high school, earning the St. Baldrick's Foundation Knight of the Bald Table Award by helping raise over $20,000. She's completed hundreds of hours of volunteer work at the Keystone Club at Wakeman's Boys and Girls and has participated on a yearly service trip to uh, Appalachia with her church. Next fall, Allie will be blazing pathways at Vanderbilt University. Congratulations. It is with great pleasure that I introduce the two CAVE Award winners from Fairfield Ward High School. First is Emma Kelly. <laughs> Emma is upbeat, loyal, charismatic, and truly loves others. She has been a leader within the Ward community and during the past year has helped bring our senior class and community together with her creative ideas. Emma is highly involved and is always willing to share her experience with others. She has been a role model for younger students both at Ward and in the community. Emma has been a valued member of the Ward basketball team and an integral part of our child development program, a leader in the National Charity League of Women and a respected by her teachers in the Harbor Light Foundation. Emma is a positive impact on our school community. It has been an honor this year working with her to navigate our senior class. And the wonderful prom that we had last Saturday night was due to her hard work and dedication. Please accept my sincere congratulations to Emma Kelly from Fairfield Ward High School Cave Award winner. Thank you. Peter. Peter. Peter Murphy is our second CAVE Award winner. Peter's most outstanding accomplishment during the past four years has been his growth in his academics, his volunteerism, and his leadership roles in the debate and Model UN. Peter has consistently challenged himself by taking the most rigorous, challenging course load offered. He thrives in rigorous courses and lively class discussion that feeds off friendly discourse. Through Model UN and debate, he has pushed the limits 
and increasingly challenged his classmates. Peter has helped create a consistent culture of inclusiveness, ensuring that everyone feels welcome and valued. Peter strives for excellence in all aspects of his life. He puts all into everything he does. He values and sees qualities as strengths and refuses to accept anything else. Peter has been a cherished member of the war community. It has been an honor to work with Peter as he served last year of the Board of Education Rep. Getting to know Peter and his wonderful family has been a pleasure. Please extend my sincere congratulations to Peter Murphy for the 2021 Cabe Award winner from Fairfield Ward High School. Congratulations, Peter. This, uh, this past year or so, past 15 months, has um, no doubt had an impact on each of our reservoirs of hope and faith. And I hope tonight you felt that reservoir fill back up. We have to take a lot of pride in what our community, our school, uh, the town of Fairfield has produced and the children that we're acknowledged tonight. So a, a big hand for all those folks. Please. I want to thank again, I want to first of all thank uh, the members of the Board of Education who are here tonight. Ably assisting us all evening was the Chair of the Board of Education, Christine Vitale. <laughs> and when they're done here, they have a meeting. Uh, uh, Jeff Peterson, Jen Maxson Kennelly, Carol Guernsey, Trisha Pico, and Jen Jacobson also from the Board of Education. Thank you. Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, and Jessica Gerber is here as well. Um, again, our thanks to uh, the, the uh, educators who have worked so hard to bring these children forward tonight, to the parents who have worked even harder to bring those children forward tonight, and of course to the students for, for all the work they've done. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you again for attending tonight.